Hello guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Now today I'm going to be talking about Luton Town's first new signing of the new season, Callum McManaman. By the way, Luton Town did a really nice video for this announcement signing. Normally the club don't do this sort of stuff, so it's good to see something slightly different. Obviously I know it's like a, a trend now, a day's every social, like every football club's doing it, but it was nice to see something different when announcing a new signing. But anyway, we have signed Callum McManaman. He has been released from Wigan and he will be joining us on the 1st of July. Callum McManaman, for me, I'm just going to say it how it is, is a very good signing. Now, I said in, like, in previous videos that we need to be signing players who have championship quality. He's got championship quality. He's played in the Premier League. He's played, obviously, in the championship. Hasn't, obviously, played below the championship, which is a good thing for us as we needed that quality in the squad. He is an attacking player, um, mainly a winger. And that's what he's known for. He's quite quick. He's known for taking... like He's like a Lawal Lawal. Like, expect skills, expect a bit of pace. He's that type of player who will keep you on the edge of your seats. And that's what type of players you want when you're in the championship because you need to be attacking clubs, you need to be causing problems. Now, because of this signing of Callum McManaman, does that mean we're going to be playing a different formation? Now, Graham Jones said in his press conference that the formation won't be changed. We will keep the same formation. But for me, Callum McManaman is a winger. So you've got to really play him. You've got to get, like... Play, you got to play the best formation for everyone at the football club. So, I wonder if we will keep the same formation. I don't believe we will. Like I've said in, in previous videos that we will not be playing the same formation. That I believe the diamond don't work in the championship. We'll probably play like a different type of diamond, which it, which you can have with wingers. But I don't think we'll play our narrow diamond which we have been playing for like the last like three years now. McManaman started obviously at Wigan and became this really good player you know he's won the FA Cup at Wigan while Graham Jones was there so Graham Jones knows him really well which which is important and arguably Callum McManaman's had his best time in his career at Wigan while under Graham Jones. So hopefully Graham Jones can get the best out of him. In the last few seasons, McManaman hasn't really been, the, I would say, his normal self as a player. You know, he, he hasn't really done much. He, obviously, he was at Wigan last year, didn't have that much game time. He was at Sunderland the year before that, where they got relegated from the championship. So he hasn't had, like, good couple of seasons. So he's at that age now where he's 28, He's joining us at his prime, you know, he's on, he's back under a manager who knows how to get the best out of him. Hopefully we see this quality player which 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 he has in himself, like at Wigan when he had all this quality to do absolute wonders against Championship Premier League players. With signing Callum McManaman, does that mean Loire Loire isn't signing his like contract? We haven't heard anything so far as I'm recording this video. We haven't heard anything that Loire Loire has signed or not. So does this mean the signing of Callum McManaman mean that we won't be that Loire Loire's refused a new deal? Who knows? But that is a possibility. Now, as I'm recording this video, we actually do not know how long Callum McManaman has signed for. For some reason, the club haven't announced that, which I find a little bit odd that we haven't said he's going to be staying for the full season. And stuff like that. So I'm assuming he's only signed a one-year deal with an option to extend it depending on how many games he plays this season. That is my guess. I don't have a clue how long he's going to be staying in for. But I'm assuming it's going to be something like that or a two-year deal. Something, something around... It has to be something similar like that, let's be honest. But anyway, I think it's a good signing. Like I've said, championship quality which we needed in the squad. Potential for new formation. Loire Loire, is he signing? Is he not because of this signing? But who knows? But at the moment, it's a good start. So we signed Callum McManaman. We, I believe we still need a few, at least a couple more players, at least, at least five new players. But at the moment, it's a good start. It's quite annoying because when you see other clubs signing players, already signed like three or four players and there's 
Luton and it's we've only just announced our first new signing. It can be quite frustrating when you like you just want the players, you just want the players come in and just get announced so then you can look forward for the new season. But yeah, it it can be quite stressful at times when you're like waiting for new players. But then again, you want to have the right players in the team. You don't want to be signing players who are not going to be good enough. So I can understand why we've made this signing of Callum McManaman and I can understand why we're taking our time in bringing in new players. James Justin's had a lot of interest. Stoke, Villa, Leicester. For a fee for around about 7.5 million with obviously going to be add-ons included. There's been rumours that Celtic are going to be after him. Apparently linked... Um, like papers came out and Justin was on like was on the list. I don't think Celtic have 7.5 million to spend on James Justin. I don't think they ever spend that amount of money on players in Scotland. So, and I don't think he would go there. The only reason why I say I don't think he would go there, I think he wants Premier League football, Justin. And I reckon he can he will get it in his career. I just don't know when. I just don't think Scotland is the right move for Justin. You know, he's playing in the Championship. I don't... I think Scotland League in itself is worse than the Championship, in my opinion. I think it's dreadful. Celtic and Rangers are the only two good teams in that league. And I think the rest, I think, will struggle massively in, like, League One. So, yeah, so I don't believe Justin will go to Celtic. I think if he is going to go to Celtic, the wages, Euro European football and the crowd will persuade him. But... Apart from like the quality and the standard of football, I still I just reckon he'll stay at Luton as he's going to be playing against better players. However, if Leicester do come in for him, then I, I can't see him turning it down. It's a Premier League move. A lot of people think he may he won't move to another Championship club, but that that well could be the case. However, he, he wants to play first-team football. That's what Justin wants, and that's what's getting reported as well. He does want first-team football. And if Leicester, if they're going to sell Chil like Chilwell, who they've got at left-back, then Justin would be an ideal replacement. So there you have it, guys. That is the end of the video. Hopefully, you did enjoy it. Callum McManaman is a great signing, and hopefully, he does well under us. Comment down below your thoughts on our brand-new signing on Callum McManaman. Let me know your thoughts on... Will we change the formation with this new signing? Will Lawalawa still sign for us? And will James Justin leave during this transfer window? Let me know down in the comments section of this video. Follow me across all my social media if you haven't done already. Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook page. Make sure you drop a like, follow and all of that. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And I'll see you guys in the next video.